What's up? <laughs> That's how I start all the videos now. What's up, guys? What's up? What's going on? Um, <clears throat> I don't know. How else can I start it? I suppose I could just start it. I don't have to, you know, start it with anything, any kind of saying or slogan. I can just get right into it. Just spill the beans, right? Stop beating around the bush. Stop living in the past. Anyway, um, all right. So if you read my tags, yeah, you know, let's start over. <laughs> no intro, just video starts. And if you read my tags, um, you'll have noticed that uh, I was recently very upset because I lost a bunch of videos because I uh, had an idiotic moment and I was deleting some other stuff from my desktop. <clears throat> and I had a bunch of videos there that I wanted to uh, to edit and uh, to post on YouTube. They were all not, um, hot sauce reviews and one knife review. But anyway, um, I went to get rid of some other images and I just deleted all of it. And I went, oh crap. And before I even realized it, I deleted it from my recycling bin too. And uh, I tried downloading one of the programs to like restore stuff you delete from your recycling bin. But it's hopeless. I got the files back, but they're all like corrupt and I couldn't open them. And it was just a bunch of crap. So... Um, long story short, it's pretty upsetting. It stinks when you make these videos and then you lose them. You know, I wish I could have shared them with you guys. But, <clears throat> and the good news is what you're looking at here, what you're staring at, is uh, a box. I'm going to do an unboxing of more hot sauce. Now, this is from a new company. <clears throat> and before anyone even mentions anything, the flowers over here, because I know someone's going to say something. They're looking pretty sad right now. These are cuttings of coleus. Uh, coleus the decorative plant you put outside. Um, it will die if it's left there, out there during the winter. And my neighbor had a bunch of this stuff, uh, some really healthy plants, and she was gonna cut them all back and throw it out, you know, for the winter time. And uh, I said, no, you know, you can save those cuttings and it'll, it'll last inside until spring. But they were cut yesterday, so now they're drooping. They look like they're dying, but they're not. They're gonna spring back and, and look great. But just for now, in case someone mentions what, what's with the dead flowers, <laughs> that's to deal with that. So anyway, <clears throat> Here's the package. Turn this around so you can see a little better. New company is HottestHotSauce.com. All right, so I'm going to try out some stuff from them. Um, just got this package today. Thought I'd do a little unboxing for you. Today's EDC was the Paramilitary 2. Just happened to be what I'm carrying. So that's what I'm going to use to open the box. So let's dig in, see what I got. All right. And... Drum roll, please. Ah, oh, jeez. I hate this crap. Why? It's just annoying. It's just real messy. But anyway, obviously fragile stuff, so it's good it's not gonna come broken. Here's one bottle and two bottles. And three bottles. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, gonna need my knife still. Might as well keep it out, right? So first bottle here. You open it like this so I don't destroy anything. We have Tapatio. Um, heard a lot about this. Uh, I know a lot of people have this out on the West Coast. Uh, specifically, Reckless Eating. I like to plug them when I can because they're cool guys over there. Matt Zion. <laughs> Zion, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's ironic because I think he messed up my name once in a video and someone corrected him and now he just says it wrong on purpose to mess with people. Matt Zion and Chris Reckless. But uh, anyway, cool channel, Reckless Eating. If you haven't seen them, check them out. But they're, uh, they love their Tapatio over there and I've never had it before. So now I'm gonna, gonna have it, gonna try it, Tapatio. <clears throat> Make a little garbage pile here. See what else we got. Now here's an interesting one. Let me close my knife for a second because I don't want to cut myself. Panola. Panola, panola. Uh, <laughs> it says clearly hot sauce. This is really cool because I didn't realize that there were other clear hot sauces on the market. I thought um, that uh, I think it's K. John's was the only uh, person that put it out. Uh, but th apparently there's more, obviously, as you can see. And it's pretty cool. You see, it's a clear clear sauce and there's a couple things floating in the bottle it's hard to see here but we have what appears to be a jalapeno 
I don't know, it's a little skinny to be jalapeno, but it looked like it was green at one point. And it looks like some garlic floating around in there. Some garlic cloves. So that's pretty interesting. <laughs> pretty cool. Let's see what the bottle says here. Maine, Louisiana. Um, genuine Cajun product. Salsa, claramente, something other. Spanish that I can't read. Uh, let's see, where's the English? Ingredients, vinegars, vinegars. Vinegar, peppers, onion juice, garlic, salt, and natural flavorings. Doesn't even say what kind of peppers, but anyway, another clear sauce. Never heard of it, saw it on the website, said it gotta have it. Got to have it, so we'll be trying that soon. Panola. So, something different, right? All right, let's see what else we got in here. Aha. Aha ha ha. Okay. Zulu Zulu <laughs> Peri Peri sauce. Um, garlic flavored. Now you guys know that I am a fan of the Peri Peri pepper from Africa. I had the um, the rhino hot sauce and I loved it. And this is, you know, something that I, I'm assuming is similar. We'll see just exactly how similar, but cool little bottle. It's a decent size bottle. Big old chunky thing, and it's got that. You know, stopper top, which is pretty cool, kind of rustic. So we'll be trying this out. Ingredients on this. Water, water, <laughs> vinegar, onion, herbies and spices, lemon, oil. Of course, I'm saying herbs on purpose wrong like that. I know it's herbs. You don't need to correct me. Thank you. Oil, soy oil, garlic, peri peri peppers, which is also known as the African bird's eye pepper, and stabilizer. Hmm, first time I ever heard that. Stabilizer. It's a nicer way of saying preservatives. So yeah, it says heat on this is 2 out of 10. So it should be all flavor, very little heat. I don't know, we'll see. That's bottle number three. What else we got in here? Never ending popcorn goodness. Boom, 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 boom. No idea why I'm singing Indiana Jones. Wow, man, that's pretty liquidous. One of my favorite words. <laughs> this is Dave's Insanity Sauce. This is the um, adjustable, which is pretty cool. You have two hot sauces, basically. You can see they are separated, but uh, they kind of come together in one bottle, per se. One's a lot hotter than the other. It says, uh, turn the top to adjust the heat. Pretty cool. So what I'm assuming is going to happen here, here's the off, so let me put this garbage aside. Here's the off section. This will make a fun review. And then as you turn it, it gets warmer and warmer and then hot and then hotter and then really hot. Now what I'm assuming is going to happen here is, let's see, does this pop off? Yeah. Wow. Oh, that's weird. It sprays. It's like a thing of ax. <laughs> well, they don't want to hit it now. That's pretty funky. Uh, I'm assuming what's going to happen is as you turn this, one side is going to be a milder sauce, one side is going to be a super hot. So I'm assuming is as you turn this, it's going to suck more from the hot side as opposed to the mild side. Just my assumption. But you know what happens when we make assumptions. Yes, you do. But anyway, that'll be a really funky, cool review. So I saw this a couple times on different sites that I've used. I never got it. This time I figured I would. So... Interesting, a, a hot sauce spray. You can carry that, you can put it on real hot and carry this as your pepper spray. You know, it's it's bulky. <laughs> this could be your EDC self-defense weapon. And then you're always loaded and ready when you go to the restaurant in case you need some hot sauce. <sighs> anyway, <laughs> this is the Days and Sandy Adjustable. Something I was very interested in for a long time, so we're finally gonna try that. Let's see what else I got here. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> Oh, oh, thank you. Appreciate that. So, I think it's weird. It's about 1,500 videos. First time I ever sneezed in one. Man, you know it's going to be hot if it's not even out of the bottle and I'm sneezing. Okay, this is another sauce I've seen. Quite a different website. It's never picked it up until now. Lethal Ingestion. And this is one of the coolest packagings I've ever seen. It's very, you know, medicinal looking. Put out by K. John's. Looks like, you know, some kind of a medical thing. All right, we open the box here. This should be more for the review, but to give you a little sneak peek. Let me take it out. 
and again, it looks like some kind of a some kind of a drug or something. You know, I feel like I have to stick a hypodermic needle on top here to, to get it out. But six mil 60 milliliters of lethal ingestion. Um, it says for oral consumption use uh, use only prescribed dosage. A couple of cautions on there. Um, it's pretty cool. They have uh, capsaicin, yeah, capsaicin, and if I get close on here, I'll have to look into it. Oop, let me move this. Then I got a runny nose. Um, I'm assuming that's the actual um, thing for capsaicin underneath there. So if that's true, that's pretty cool. That's a very unique, very creative way to package hot sauce. And this is going to be a super hot. So we're going to have some fun with that. You'll see me sweat and cry a little bit like a little sissy girly. Like a little sissy girl. Yes, I will. But we'll try that in the future as well. Let's see what else we got. Is there more? Ooh, there's more. Yes, there is. All right. Here's one that's been requested. A couple people requested this. And by couple, I mean like maybe three dozen people. It's to try one of Blair's death sauces. Okay. Now, I chose to do Blair's Golden Death, which is pretty, pretty neat. Let's see here. Uh, suggested uses, death wings, quesadillas, <laughs> quesadillas, uh, fish tacos. It reminds me of, uh, what was that movie? Oh, man. It's on Tim My Tongue. I know what it is. It's hilarious. Guy gets shot in the stomach. He's like, I had you over for dinner. Fish tacos. <laughs> ah, that's, that's killing me. Pineapple Express. Thank you very much. Good movie. Anyway, um... Yeah, this should be a pretty good hot sauce. Contains absolutely no preservatives or artificial flavors. Yippee. Let's break into this box, see what we got going on here. Ah, oh, there's a seal. A darn security seal. I don't feel very secure with that seal on there. All right. Oh, and I got a runny nose. It's all this hot sauce. Golden Death with Chipotle. It's pretty cool. It's got the uh, little keychain skull on here. Nice little collectible. It says Blair's on the forehead, if you can make that out. That's pretty neat. I like novelty stuff, as you guys know. This is the Golden Death Sauce, like I said. Um, Scotch bonnet peppers, fresh onion, cane vinegar, mustard seeds, habanero powder, uh, salt, turmeric, and absorbic acid. So, pretty cool. What's that say there? It says, made with great karma. <laughs> pretty neat. All right, so yeah, Blair's in general, Ultra Death, Super Death, all the death sauces, they've all been recommended to me, so I figured I'd try one. Haven't seen a video on Golden Death. Um, didn't look super hard, but anyway, we'll try that in the future. Let me put that back in the box. So we got some cool hot sauce videos coming up, obviously. Any else? Oh my God, it's never ending. Let's see what else we got in here. <laughs> of course, it's not a surprise. I know exactly what's in the box. All the stuff I ordered. What could this be? Aha! Here's a sauce I haven't seen until I saw it on this website. Satan's Rage. And uh, pretty wicked artwork on the front there. It's hard to tell, but those eyes uh, on the demon there, on Mr. Lucifer himself, are like metallic. Pretty cool little package, but what kind of piqued my interest is the ingredients. So let's see here. The ingredients are red wine vinegar, water, natural sugar, um, chili sauce, which is contains uh, tomato puree, distilled vinegar, high fructose corn syrup, salt, corn syrup, dehydrated onions, spice, garlic powder, blah, blah, blah. Then we have ghost peppers, peri peri peppers, dehydrated garlic, dehydrated onion, cayenne pepper, garlic salt, Chili powder, chipotle powder, xanthan gum. So we got, let's see, ghost peppers, peri peri peppers, and cayenne pepper. So that's an interesting combination there. So we're going to try this Satan's Rage. I know it's going to be hot. It's got old ghosty in there. Not my friend. I haven't had good experiences with ghost peppers or ghost pepper sauces. So it'll be fun and interesting to watch me suffer. So that will be in the future video as well. All right, surely that's it, right? Nothing else in here? Oh, 
good lord. There's something else. <laughs> when does it end? I do not know. Ooh, I know what this is. This is doo -doo 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 -doo, mongoose. Now you guys know, anyone who follows the hot sauce series knows that I absolutely, absolutely love, what, what do I love? The black mamba sauce, right? Well, this is the hotter version, the mongoose. Now mongooses eat snakes, so it should put the uh, black mamba to shame. Um, again, another K. John's thing. I love K. John's stuff. It says, too expensive, too small a bottle. This isn't a weak Louisiana style hot sauce. It's a lifetime supply for most. Well, we'll see about that. So mongoose will be hotter. Pop it out of the box here. Take a look at it, cool little bottle. I love that. I just love something different. The size of the bottle, the aluminum cap, the whole thing is just pretty cool. Artworks, it's okay. But uh, anyway, extreme heat, blah, blah, blah. Let's see ingredients here. Hmm, what do you know? Boot Jalokia chilies, Fatali chilies, <laughs> vinegar and natural flavors. So Boot Jalokias and Fatalis. That one will certainly be a fun little test. We'll put that back in the box that I dropped. <clears throat> Man, my body's already kind of shaking. My nose is running like a faucet right now. I think I had a, hold on. <clears throat> Tissue in my pocket. Okay. I don't know why I made you hold on. I could just edit that out. But real life type stuff, right? This thing's like a clown car. This doesn't end, does it? Ooh, horrible noise. <clears throat> okay, Satan's ghost. It's a companion here to uh, Satan's rage. This obviously, you can see there's this ghost pepper sauce. More cool artwork. Love this bottle. It's really cool looking, if you ask me. Um, let's read the ingredients on this one. Fire roasted habanero peppers, red wine vinegar, water, salt, ghost peppers, and xanthan gum. So a little bit more of a simple sauce, but uh, it's got those ghosties in there. And it's got uh, fire, what was it, fire roasted habaneros in there? Hopefully you can see that coloring. You see a lot of dark stuff, a lot of seeds. Oh, it's just, I know it's going to be torturous. So Satan's Ghost, we'll try that as well. Got more garbage here. All right, that, that's got to be it. <clears throat> Holy crap. All right. What do we have here? Aha! <laughs> Pretty interesting. You got kind of a felt top here. It's fancy. Fancy stuff. Georgia peach and Vidalia onion hot sauce. Now, when I saw this one, I said, wow, that sounds awesome. I love peaches, right? And I can eat Vidalia onions just like an apple. So uh, what a combination. And it doesn't, it sounds gross um, it, to start off because you're like onions and peaches. That sounds disgusting. But we're going to find out. It might be gross. It might not be. Um, let's see. Ingredients are too long to list here. I'll do that in the review. But here, if you want to take a snapshot, those are the ingredients. Boop, 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 boop. But anyway, yeah, it's an interesting combination, peaches and, and onions. So we'll see. We will see about that. All right. There's still a box in here. Take the box out. Put that aside just for a second. And we'll see if there's anything else. There couldn't be, right? But there is. Good lord. Huh. In this case. Cool. Johnny Cash's one percenter. Jalokia, <laughs> Jalokia ghost and extract hot sauce. Five hellious ounces. Yes, I can imagine this is going to be torture. It's pretty cool. You get a little, I don't know if it's pre-filled or not, but it looks like you get a little travel. Oh no, no, this is the one percenter powder. Naga Jalokia and habanero chili powder. That is funky. 
that is is really cool that might be part of my EDC I don't know how often I'll use that like if I go out to dinner I probably won't want to spoil the food with this stuff but that is really cool <clears throat> one of I have to say so far holy crap I stopped in the middle of sentence look at all the seeds in there good lord this looks like uh, uh, it's gonna be hot I know that Ingredients, Nagajoloki, ghost chili peppers, chili pepper extract, molasses, tomato paste, vinegar, and salt. But that is a lot of seed. So anyway, pretty cool. You get the, uh, the chili powder with that. That's really, really neat. Uh, again, um, never really had a Danny Cash specific hot sauce. I know I've had stuff by them, but I don't believe I did reviews on it. So one percenter I've seen is pretty, pretty cool. I've also seen them come in the flasks before, you know, where you get a, a metal flask instead of the bottle. But... Anyway, we'll try that in the future. All right, I think that's it for the box. What do you think? Mm, I don't know. Come on, guys, what do you think? One more? Let's dig in deep here. Wow. All right. That really is it after this. And then we gotta see what's in that box. So what do we have here? We have acid rain. Wow, it's a cool, uh, cool name for hot sauce. The texture in there looks good. Looks like it's easy to pour. Um, refrigerate after opening. Blah, 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 no preservatives. Where's the ingredients? Oh. No. Yes. Wow, a long list of ingredients. Habanero, Pequin, Ring of Fire, Puri Puri, Tepin, and Jalapeno Peppers. Wow, those are all different peppers. I haven't heard of uh, Ring of Fire before, but that sounds pretty cool. Garlic, ginger, spices, salt, lemon, lime, and orange juices, and vinegar. Interesting. Acid rain. All right. So we'll try that as well. Let's see what the heck is in this smaller box, and then we can call this a video. All right. More glass. Handle with care. Will do. Did you believe that? Get all that more, <laughs> all that more hot sauce. See, I I messed up. All that more hot sauce sounds retarded, and it, there's no. See, it's so uh, like outstandingly ridiculous. They have all this extreme hot sauce. Um, I don't even. I couldn't even speak. Uh, I don't even know what I just said there. Anyway, let's dig in. See what we got here. It's pretty cool. These are the pure. The Pure Series, uh, basically it's just a pepper mash, Pure Habanero. This comes a cool little, I don't know, Texas type little thing there. <laughs> and I, look at this bottle. You have a nice, sleek look to this bottle. Uh, tapers down, right? It's all glass. You got a nice little cork on top and even a pour spout. How cool is that? Awesome, awesome little display sauce. I, I hope the sauce is really good because this would probably be one of my favorites if it is. But we have pure habanero, we have pure cayenne, same deal, same type package and all that, same company. And of course, one of my favorites, pure jalapeno. So we'll try these out, see if these are any good. They also make a couple other ones, but I only liked these three for now. Plus, can't get everything, right? Jim Bean hot sauce. I know this is not going to be super hot, but I love any kind of, you know, hard liquor flavored sauces. I've had barbecue sauce from... Jack Daniels and all different companies. You know, Jim Beam has their own barbecue sauce as well. It's always usually really good. Really sweet, a lot of flavor and stuff. So we'll see if the hot sauce is any any different from that stuff. Let's we'll see what the uh, peppers they use in here, if they even name them. And they don't. Oh, they do. Tabasco. They use uh, red aged Tabasco peppers. So heat level will just be so-so. Won't be really hot. Hopefully there's a lot of flavor in it. But let's see what else we got. We also have... Heartbreak King or Heartbreaking Dawns, another um, sauce I've heard of, never tried. This is Heartbreaking Dawns uh, Jalapeno Pineapple, which uh, sounds awesome. 
jalapeno pineapple. Sounds like a really good, good mix. We'll see if that tastes any good. Let's see what else we got here. Another Heartbreaking Dawns. This is the 1542. <clears throat> Excuse me, getting choked up here. Uh, chocolate habanero sauce. Now you guys know I love chocolate habaneros. Again, that stems back from my black mongoose, uh, mongoose, <sighs> black mamba um, obsession. That is one of my favorite hot sauces and super, super hot too. The chocolate hobs are, are really up there in heat and they have a delicious flavor. So here's another chocolate habanero hot sauce. There's another one out there I want to try. It's just called hot chocolate and it's a real simple label, but I didn't get it this time. I got the Heartbreaking Dawn's version. So let's see if this is any good. Hang in there, six more sauces to go. <laughs> um, another ghost pepper sauce. This is Boom Slang. Um, just something different. Pretty cool artwork on there. The front of the bottle. Okay, I want to try some more of the super hot stuff, the, the, the ghost chili pepper sauces. So that's Boom Slang. We have uh, <laughs> Kakalaki. Spice sauce. Um, I really, I just think that word's funny. Kakalaki. Um, let's see. Everything you want on it is in it. Is that right? Everything you want on it is in it. Yeah, that's right. I don't know why that sounded funny. Um, anyway, it says uh, Kakalaki is America's best zest. You are holding the famously original Kakalaki spice sauce. This uniquely delicious and mouth-watering, all-in-one dressing, dip, and topping tastes great on everything that needs more zest from your burgers, beans, and beyond. And then a little section here. Did you know? Did you know? Kakalaki is our nickname for the very birth birthplace of America's classic condiment culture. Of course, these days, everyone knows the that Kakalaki is also the savory name for the ultimate spice sauce flavor experience. Funny name, Serious Zest. Um... I've heard of this stuff, never had it before, no interest, uh, no interest. Obviously there's an interest. I had no idea of it until I saw it on a website and I was having a conversation with someone like, yeah, this stuff's pretty good. I'm like, where do you even get that? And they said, I know this person used to live in uh, North Dakota and they said they had it up there, but I don't know. So I thought I'd try it, Kakalaki. I'm guessing it's not gonna be really, really hot. Hopefully it has lots of flavor. What kinds of flavor? I have no idea. It's got a long ingredient list here including sweet potatoes and honey. Interesting, you'll see more ingredients on the review. Moving along, insane chicken, <laughs> roasted habanero hot sauce. Um, just uh, sometimes these, this is something that normally wouldn't grab my attention because it doesn't have a cool artwork or some kind of gimmick behind it, or it doesn't have a specific flavor that I, I'm very interested in. But you know what, you never know with these. There, there's literally hundreds, if not thousands of these um, hot sauces that aren't very well known, but uh, I've had them before. You know, sometimes they're good, sometimes they're total crap. So I figured I'd give a, a total chance on this insane chicken. So I'll see if that's any good. I have Blind Betty's Hot Caribbean uh, Connections. This is another pineapple hot sauce, pineapple pizzazz. Okay, so we'll try that. And Skip over a little bit. This is Mad Dog's Envy. All right, Mad Dog has a jalapeno sauce. Now, you guys know Mad Dog um, from their, their super, super hot sauces. Their, you know, 550,000 Scoville sauces. You know Mad Dog for their extracts. I did a couple reviews on them. I want to try something a little bit more tame from them because so far, it's all been heat and no flavor. So I'm going to see if this tastes any good. This is just called Envy. Obviously, you see it's green sauce. It's jalapeno. It's got some funky, creepy eyeballs there. <laughs> so anyway, all right, last sauce here. <laughs> Speaking of gimmicky, don't piss me off. <laughs> you will be sorry. And then there's comes with this little keychain guy here, which uh, you can fill the head with water and uh, actually pees. It's a little. I don't know if that's, I'm a, I want to say it's a kid, because if it's a man, it's disturbing. But there's a little spot there for <laughs> the water to shoot out, and that's hilarious to me. Uh, maybe I'm very simple to please, but I think that's funny. And total, like a gim total gimmick, but um, we'll see if it's any good. It says, uh, just tasty enough to piss you off, just hot enough to piss them off. So, let's see. Oh, there's instructions. Okay. Oh, that's for the little guy. 
It says, uh, immerse the entire keychain figure. Oh, the naked kid. It's naked. So it is a kid. All right, good. If it was a little man, it'd be creepy. Um, actually, a little naked kid's just as creepy, isn't it? Anyway, it says, uh, submerge into a container of water, let the little plastic bladder fill up, then simply aim, <laughs> aim his shooting mechanism. Um, lost track. Aim his shooting mechanism area at whoever pisses you off and squeeze. So, anyway, like I said, complete gimmick. Maybe the sauce tastes like crap, but it's still pretty funny. So we will try him out here. And who knows, maybe in the future I'll give him away the little contest prize or something. I'll have to do a little demo, too, for the review. He's got a squishy head. <laughs> All right, so that concludes the <laughs> unboxing. Um, pretty cool stuff. Uh, I mean, a lot of stuff that's, like, really the super hots. It's kind of scary, to be honest, but you guys know me. It's novelty for me. I like to try new things. So I want to try this new company out. Again, it's uh, HottestHotSauce.com. Uh, oh, excuse me. Jeez. I'm just full of gas and snot and all kinds of stuff. I think I'm getting sick. But anyway, I can't even finish the video without something happening to my body. Um, HottestHotSauce.com. We'll see if it's any good. Uh, so far, I think it's been good. Customer service was great. I had a couple questions. I called them up on the phone. Um, as far as delivery came really fast, uh, three days UPS dropped it right off. Everything was packed very well, although I don't like the packaging popcorns or peanuts, whatever they're called. Um, it was packed very good. I got a whole pile over here of uh, bubble wrap. Everything was individually wrapped, as you saw. So nothing's broken. Everything arrived safely, and I think prices are, are very comparable to, uh, to other websites. So, so far, so good. And uh, that's it. I'm going to try some, some of these sauces in the future. Don't worry, you're not going to be bombarded with uh, hot sauce reviews, but there will be a trickle effect, and you will see them. And when I do them, I won't just do one. I'll pop up like four or five in one day, and then uh, and that's it. Well, you never know. Maybe it just will be one. Can't make any promises, you know? But that's all. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Take care.